this is just my second video, but what is this? Ugh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like squeeze it. What the hell, bro? Even is this? Look at this, dude. Like, ugh. Is it like maple or some shit? It looks disgusting. Honestly, it looks like. Uh, look at that! <gasps> what the fuck? Ugh! Is that. Is that like a worm? Ugh, get this shit off of me. Why did I do that? I bet there's someone living up in here, boy. But look. There's like a worm up in there. Whatever. Like I was talking about in the. Next video, the fact that Goron Drogic, and I know, it's because, what's his name, got injured. I can't even remember his name. Someone got injured. I think it was like, John Wall or something. I think, yeah, I think it was John Wall. He was injured, and then the Miami Heat point guard, Goron Drogic, but... He's a very one-dimensional player. He's he's literally averaging three rebounds a game, which is, I mean, that's okay for a point guard, but like, that that's pretty bad. Get this shit off of me. Oh, and I didn't even begin to talk about this fucking tree. Who the fuck? Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna get AIDS or something. Is it like maple? Shit. Should I? Okay, you know what? Is that honey? I wish I had water around. Now my fucking hands are all sticky. Alright. So, as I was saying, Nikola Jokic literally. Okay, the re Draymond Green wasn't a filler. So. They had Draymond Green come in over guys who, just because the Warriors, at the time actually, were the one seat for like a little bit, um, over guys like Paul George, when Paul George is averaging 22 points a game, I think, when he's playing with Russell Westbrook. Now... Yeah, he did decrease in numbers. I'm sorry. But Draymond Green averaged 11 points per game. He's not even averaging a double-double. Nine, like, nine rebounds, I think. And, uh, like, four assists. But he did have good steal numbers. I think he was, like, near the top of the league. Like, with guys like Damian Lillard. Stuff like that. But I want to talk about Goran Dragic for a second. He is the Miami Heat's leading scorer. With, I think, 16 points a game. Which, I mean... That is good, but like... Um... I think your leading scorer... Should have around, like... At least like 18 points now for a while I know we didn't have that we had literally one point away from that um, because Nikola Jokic was averaging 14 a game and then he just randomly first he went up to 18 then he went up to 19 and I think at the time he was averaging 11 rebounds or I should start with points then rebounds and assists alright he was averaging he was averaging like, let me sit, let me think. I think it was like 17, almost 18 points a game. So 17 a game, and he was our leading scorer. Because Gary Harris, I think, had gotten injured. Um, and then after that, our leading, second leading scorer was like. I don't remember. Was it Jamal Murray? I 
I think it was Jamal Murray with like 12 points a game. 12 or 13. But Nikola Jokic averaged 18 points per game, 11 rebounds at the time, because I remember looking at his stats, and um, nine assists. So literally one assist away from averaging a triple double, but because Denver's bad. Not a bad team, a mediocre team. Like, it's the same thing if, like, Blake Griffin randomly just started averaging, almost averaging a triple double. If he upped his assist, he could do that. Same with Andre Drummond. He's just not a passer. You know, it's easy to get the points. Had any... Okay, but Draymond Green didn't even average a double-double. And Nikola Jokic averaged a double-double. And was literally one assist away from being Russell Westbrook. Now, I, I know what you're saying. Um, I know what you're thinking. It's hard for Russell Westbrook to get rebounds when he's a point guard. Um, but guess what? It's easier for them to pass, and I know this doesn't really make sense that much. But here's the thing. Um, a big man passes a little slower, really. I read this thing where it showed, like, it got a bunch of these big men who averaged over five assists per game. Um, I had no clue Bryant Reeves, actually, for uh, one season. Bryant Reeves, like, a, I'd say, like, the th third best Vancouver Grizzly behind um, Sharif Abdurrahim and Mike Bibby. Ugh. And Mike Bibby was the second best Vancouver Grizzly because he was a rookie. He was only a rookie. But if he played for them his whole career, he could have been great. I'm trying to think for a second. But yeah, I mean, just because the only reason Draymond Green made the All Star team is because he averaged better numbers last year. Um. Oh. And he. I'm sorry, my eye just really fucking hurts. Um, he averaged good numbers last year, All Star numbers. Um, and he's on the best team in the league, which is the Warriors. All right. I'm just going to lay here. You guys can just skip, skip ahead. But I will talk about NBA. Uh, so Nikola Jokic better be an all-star next year. Unless he just has, like, a injury. Uh, like a major injury, not a day-to-day, -day. because he did play 76 games, which is pretty good. Oh, God, what am I going to talk about now? Um, is, uh, can the Cavs come back? No, I don't even want to talk about the finals right now, because it's it's clear. I think the Cavs could win tonight. Um, oh God. The Cavs could win tonight or, to, or uh, game four because they'll be at home. Um, if they play like they did in game one, they should just play like they did in game one. Um, but I don't think they could come back. They'll probably win in... The Warriors will probably win in five games, I think, because I don't think the Cavs will allow it. Because I think at this point, LeBron probably knows. You know it would be cool if you could sign, like, free agents. Um, uh, if you could sign free agents...
in the uh If you could sign free agents in the playoffs, that'd be cool because the Cavs would just sign like um, Ty Lawson and because he's the best free agent right now, but he does the only reason he's not in the NBA. They could sign like Chris Bosh, but I know he has blood clots, which that could end up killing him. But and I know it's playoffs, but like. He'll be going against Draymond Green, which would be hard. But they should sign Chris Bosh, really. I think Chris Bosh, if take the risk, ask Chris Bosh. Because you know he wants to play basketball. Now, now do you think they shouldn't have blown up their team? If they had some veteran experience, because the only guys that have been in the playoffs on that team are Kevin Love... Um, and I'm talking at like playoffs or no finals only Kevin Love and LeBron James but if we're talking like playoffs you got Kevin Love, Kyle Korver is this still recording? Okay, Kevin Love, Kyle Korver LeBron Jose Cal, I think, did the rap, I think, maybe Calderon, probably, yeah, he was on that Knicks team, or was that Andre Bargnani, alright, I don't know, George Hill, I, I think maybe Rodney Hood, yeah, Rodney Hood. But, like, for real, man. I, I do agree with them trading Isaiah Thomas. But, look. You also gave up Channing Fry, who was a good backup power forward. But you did get Larry Nance, which that is a W. But I really think they could have gotten something better. Like, what if Isaiah Thomas went to Chicago? That, that would have been a... Um, a good trade, but um, they should have known that he wasn't going to be good. Uh, but he is only averaging like 17. Games. I think they could have gotten like Zach Levine because he did return in the uh, in January. No. They did both have injuries till the All-Star break. So I bet they could have traded Isaiah Thomas for like... I'm trying to think of someone good. Andrew Wiggins. Oh wait, no, he already played in... He would have been a Cavalier. If, uh... Tyron Lou wasn't a bitch. Bitch ass. Just listen. Uh, I'm trying to think of like players they could have traded for, but even then, Andrew Wiggins averaging 18 points a game is more valuable than Isaiah Thomas. Uh, but yeah, Andrew Wiggins definitely needs to go. Ooh, I know a good trade. Isaiah Thomas goes to the Clippers, but they get Lou Williams. So it'd be Isaiah Thomas and, like, I'm trying to think. Isaiah Thomas and, uh, but they would have to release, like, some nobody on the team, like, Sindaris Thornwell. Oh, I know. They could have traded Isaiah Thomas and they could, they could have traded for Dennis Schroeder. I bet they would have accepted Isaiah Thomas for Dennis Schroeder. Because Dennis Schroeder, they already knew by then Dennis Schroeder didn't want to be in Atlanta. But you could be um, 
Dennis Schroeder averages like three rebounds a game. But he does have some good assist numbers. I think they shouldn't have blown up that team. Because seriously, the, I know at the time they probably didn't think they were making the finals. But really, they should have just waited to the offseason because, like, um, you know, you never know. Because, really, once Kyrie Irving got injured, the only people who really had a chance against them would be, like, the 76ers. If, like, Ben Simmons could shoot, they could be, they could be in the finals if Ben Simmons could shoot. Really. I'm being I'm being 100% honest. Ben Simmons could shoot. The 76ers could be in the finals. Um okay. But really, the their starting lineup was pretty awesome, but I know Isaiah Thomas and uh LeBron James that combination wasn't working out well. And people were like, "Oh, Isaiah and Kevin Love." So I think they should have just gotten like Someone who is equal, like Dennis Schroeder, trade him to the Hawks. But then again, uh, they could have traded him um, to Milwaukee for like Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, that would have worked because they were both. I think Eric Bledsoe did um, have like some better rebound number numbers. Um, so yeah, I do think they could have gotten someone like Eric Bledsoe, and that's all they had to do at the trade deadline, keep Jay Crowder, because I know he wasn't doing so good, but just keep him as the sixth man, because I'm pretty sure he knows how to play, he, know, he could play good defense, his defense could be very reliable right now, because that's really the only thing he did well. Look at the squirrel. Oh god, it's giving me the death look. I'm gonna step away from its tree before it murders me. <laughs> um, but yeah. They should have kept that team. And they also had Dwayne Wade, who's... They literally just wanted to get Dwayne Wade out of there. That's so stupid. Because I bet you money, they just traded him back to Miami. That's all they did. For a second round pick. That's it. For a second round pick. They literally just dumped him off there. It's the same, I hate that. Unless it's like, a guy who's doing nothing. So like, say, the that I only know um, okay, let's see here. I'm trying to think of, like, someone who's worth this on our team. If we just dump Devin Harris off at, like, the Pelicans for, like, um, 